Hi, um, so today I have a um, HP laptop with a broken SATA port as uh, seen here. Um, so if you take a look it's just broken. I've got three of those to repair to add on. Unfortunately I don't have uh, these ports new so I need to use like donor boards for them. So I was able to find some. So I have this here donor board. Uh, basically I don't know what's wrong with it. I've got a whole bunch of laptops uh, to work with. So this here is the other way around. So the pins are there. This here though, this looks perfect. This is exactly what I need. This is the same thing as this thing here. So I will start uh, with taking this off the donor board. On the SSD and then as you can see this will be kind of tricky because we cannot unsolder on solder this from the top at all we have a bunch of connectors here uh, which would melt instantly um, if we take this there's another connector uh, so yeah uh, we need to take the board out completely from this laptop and then use the hot air from the bottom we will see later what's on the other side of this pcb uh, but basically we can do it and i'll show you uh, how i do it normally well you can love <laughs> but this is what i'm normally using so this is a psu that i'm also using for testing things and it's and it's good psu and i'm also using this for a year like this so I'll just add captain tape here so I can suspend the board, right? I can go uh, with my hot air on the bottom. I think I'll take both of these ports. I want this uh, uh, in my part stash anyway, so I'll take both of them uh, with hot air. Basically what I'm doing now, I have my hot air there, it's 420 degrees, right now 75% airflow, which is, which is enough. And the first one I will take will be this one. should be quicker as the board is now hot. By the way the, the board is only hot where it's suspended. When it touches the PSU it's nice and cold. So the PSU is not only there for support but also acts as my heat sink here. So now onto our laptop here. Uh, first thing first, disconnect the battery. Whatever you do on a laptop, disconnect the battery. Take the battery out. I already unscrew it. Uh, this doesn't have any major traps here. It's uh, like working on them on this HP is pretty nice. It's pretty easy. Just disconnect all the ribbon cables from it, right? This big one. I think that's a keyboard. 
Right. This, 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 disconnected, right. Now we want to take the, uh, any, anything that is just glued on from it. I don't want any plastics left over or anything like that. So that's taken off. Uh, speaker cables off microphone and stuff that's all gone uh, here we have uh, two connectors for the screen one and the other one is here so I think they have like a touch screen so one will be for the touch touch screen and the second one for, for the display We can take out this again some glued stuff that separates metals. Start screwing a lot of things. now I can probably lift this one. yes and we off so okay like uh, usual we, we have piece of plastic that is glued on to the PCB uh, we need to take care of this as well because we'll be using this side of the board for heat so piece of plastic no it's not plastic it's a piece of aluminium it was just covered in black and that was uh, above these two ports so I think it's like extra rigidity thing overall I like this laptop how it's done it's easy to service it's easy to take apart Not like these old laptops. These old laptops are so annoying because you need to get to the bottom of the laptop as well as the top of the laptop through keyboard, which is not easy sometimes. So now we have our board. Right? Do we need to take anything else off? We'll be working with this part of it we will be taking this connector out on the other side we have the sim card slash sd thing like directly below it which is good it we won't hurt it um, there is a piece of rubber here as well one is here so I want to take these out because otherwise they will smell very badly they will melt And it will not be nice. And we want this to be nice. Yeah. So the PCB is ready. So back with my PSU slash heatsink slash rework station. I'll mount it like that. Right? see I'll take the cut tape here I don't want this to be moving when I'm working on it it's good enough so I can place it here and we will start using 
hot air on this in the moment. Oh. So, oh, we may as well give the PCB some heat from the bottom. Not much, some. And I'll use flux. to basically see what the temperature is if I see the flux yeah putting up smoke I'll stop immediately and I'll add some leaded solder around the connector uh, to minimize the risk of ripping the pads on the PCB. This connector is done anyway, so I'm not doing, I, I won't be refurbishing it or anything, so I'll just add a lot of solder around it using my soldering iron, right? Just bear with me a moment. Okay, so the deed is done. Um, so I've added captain tape to protect these when I'm working with my soldering iron. So it's now ready to be desoldered. Okay, I give it, uh, give it a moment to cool down. Let's see under the microscope how it looks. I'm not particularly happy about it. Um, we're talking a ten of millimeter. Uh, you see, like the part here, the very top one. Uh, there is not, but look, this is pretty sharp object. <laughs> so we're talking really, really minuscule things here. Uh, so this compare to this, right? I think it's good, like it's in the margin of error. Uh, you can't see it with the naked eye, but uh, let me try and fit a uh, SSD drive to it and see if it sits correctly. A lot of flux in this right yeah, you can screw it, no worries. Uh, yeah, so of course, I give it a test. Yeah, you see the pins here, like so, pins here, like so. So, they are pretty much they are pretty good. Um, I'll need to clear the SSD and the port from the flux as well. Um, uh, so, yeah, it sits there, right. We want to add more solder there to this anchor point. 
and as well we want to go through each and every single pin and see if it makes a good connection to the pad uh, there is a solder block there uh, we need to get rid of that so uh, let me see if all these pins sit correctly uh, probably some bad piece of pliers like I used one that I think this one's fine fine yeah these are sitting correctly Inside the port is pretty important. Flux just goes everywhere, you know, which is good, <laughs> which is the, what you normally want. Uh, yeah, and uh, that also means that you need to uh, clean pretty well. And the SSD. Very nice. Uh, again, try to fit. I'll show you. See, I'm just recording the monitor. I still did find a way for the audio to work. Uh, so yeah, as you can see how it looks here, right? All good. Yeah, just a bit of moisture from the alcohol, but this is what I want as well. I'll take. Um, some cotton swabs and I'll clean it more and oh, we can test it um, so as I mentioned I've this is the third one I've done um, they all had this identical fault so the SSD connector was just broken uh, someone was decommissioning these laptops and just went and, you know, torn this apart. Just, who, you know, does that? I don't know. But I'm not the first person in this thing and I noticed a couple of things. And this uh, goes for all of them, not only this one. This is slightly torn here, right? So someone, again, wasn't paying attention didn't care. Uh, secondly, all the battery terminals, like, look, uh, this, all these plastics are basically uh, from battery. Uh, so again, this is another point where you screw the battery down and this is broken. Another one, this is broken. Another one, this is already broken. It still holds together, but it's broken. And this one, missing half right and the main one also missing half so all of them had the ssd connector or m.2 ssd if you will and the battery uh, connectors were all well not treated as gently as they should be uh, let's just say right apart from that these laptops are nice so i think they have a second life uh, just ahead of them and yeah let me finish the assembly uh, I still need to screw down the CPU heatsink mm, and yeah 
And let's test it. Okay, we will greet it with the reboot. So, okay, we have a picture. So, laptop is at least we know is still working. Um, the SSD I fitted, uh, it does have like a, mm, a Windows 10 on it. Uh, oh yeah, it's loading our operating system. So this is all we need to know. The SSD is working. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, three of those done. Three laptops, three wins. Nice, like that. Thanks for watching.